All right, G, I appreciate you coming in, man. I wanted to just watch some tape with you, man, and kind of take a trip back down memory lane as we head for senior night, your last game in Cameron. Let's fast forward to sophomore year. You had just gotten benched. <laughs> the game before we played Kentucky, and we didn't play well, and so here we are playing VCU in the garden. This move, you hit him with a cool in and out right there, get him jumping and to go down and finish. One of the most popular players, you know, well-known players early as a sophomore, coming off the bench. Like, what was going through your head then? Thankfully, I had been yelled at before. <laughs> so, when coach yelled at me after the, after the Kentucky game, I was used to it and, you know, tried to focus on what he was saying and, you know, take the tone as kind of some energy to fire me up. Yeah. Uh, so I was just focused on coming in. I'm, you know, I'm thinking before this game, I came off the bench my whole freshman year. I can come in and do it again. Here's the championship game against uh, Georgetown. And once again, we're down, and you kind of get us ignited again. I knew that his, his confidence didn't leave. He yeah. just wanted, to, wanted me to get it back. Yeah, and to challenge you in a different way. I don't think right. you came out much after <laughs> the rest of the year after that. You know, this is one I definitely remember big time. We're, you know, we're down, and so we yeah. get this last play. Tell me what you're thinking here. I just wanted to get to the rim. I didn't want to settle yeah. or pull up for any tough shot. Just wanted to get to the rim and, and get through contact yeah. and try to finish it up there. Like, what was it like hitting a game winner at Duke? Yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> I mean, with this with this being the place I wanted to play and d being able to do this in Cameron, yeah. let alone have the opportunity to. I mean, I knew I knew my number was called for the final shot, and I just – I was just ready to go take it. And you're right, especially to do it in Cameron. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, playing here and wearing the jersey and for you, you know, growing up wanting to play here, to have a chance to do that and to get mobbed by your teammates and then to share it with the fans as you run off. It had to be a really cool feeling. It was. And then here we are over in Chapel Hill, you know, again, your sophomore year. Talk about playing over there, you know, and having a chance to win over there. For people who haven't been in this game, you might think it's crazy for us to want to go over there and play, but it's yeah. it's such a great atmosphere. I mean, you feel the hate. You feel it, and it's energizing. And I mean, it's a great place to play, even better place to win. And so winning plays are what we try to make. And then right here, once we get this stop and you get the ball, what's going through your mind here? Well, I threw it up a little early because <laughs> there was still two seconds on the clock, so yeah. I didn't want them to get the ball. <laughs> Um, and then, really, that was such a big moment for me, and I saw Coach and just wanted to run up and hug him and yeah. just kind of share that emotion with him. Now we go to your junior year, and this was a weird year because <laughs> you, know, you were really weren't healthy much during this year. This is one time when you were. It was almost like you were letting all the stuff, the, the, the frustrations that you had had, at that moment out and just how you attack this this rim. Doing stuff like that is one of the reasons I started playing basketball and loved it so much because I just I was athletic. I couldn't shoot. And so this is <laughs> this is what I did. I would just go and go towards the rim with that reckless abandon and so I yeah. missed that. Yeah. And I was so happy to be healthy and be able to do this. This is Carolina at home and uh you got cooking in this game. It's a one possession game and we have the ball with a minute 20 left. This is one of those moments, again, where I don't think I was thinking. I think it was just instinctual. And for me, if a guy goes under the screen or kind of dies into it where I get enough space to shoot it and the big stays off, yeah. I mean, that's a good shot for me, and I'm going to take it every time. Absolutely. Again, it's a really cool feeling to beat them here at home, and especially when you're making shots like this down the stretch. And we're making plays as a team down the stretch. Here we are earlier this season, number one versus number two. You were cooking once again in this game. And tell me what you're thinking, like right here, as this game is going on. It's a tight game. Yeah, well, I got I got going with a couple of threes earlier in the game. Yeah, that was my sixth one. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I was loaded up, ready to shoot anytime I got a little bit of space. Yeah. And then once again, there's another ball screen. They kind of die into the screen. The big goes under. It's like a heat check. <laughs> heat check. Yeah, no question. Big time shot. And again, you've had many of these over your career. And it's kind of one, I would assume, as a player, you're thinking like ball game. Yeah. I mean, when you get into that moment, you don't, it's, it's kind of better because you don't think about anything yeah. else. You're so locked into the game and like, this is it. This yeah. is the play. Well, buddy, I think you have a lot more left in you. A lot of these big moments and hopefully we have big moments together here 
for the rest of this season. And one of the things that gives us confidence is knowing that you've been in these moments and you've come through in these moments. And we have all the confidence in the world, you know, when we are in these moments again, that you're going to pull us through.